live, not from New York. It's the Get Clear Show. And now, here's Laura. Hello, and welcome to the Get Clear Show. I'm Laura Wing. I'm your host. We have a great show for you today. I have the privilege of sitting with Mr. Lucas Hunzinger. Did I say that correctly, Lucas? Yes. Okay. And he is the director at the Highland Community um, Technical School in Atchison, Kansas. Lucas, before we get started, I have some general housekeeping that I have to take care of. We have a wonderful sponsor for today's show, and I would like to introduce you to Rose Roofing and General Contracting. So Rose Roofing and General Contracting has opened a brand new office in Atchison, Kansas, and they've been in business for over 30 years. You can find them at 1400 Skyway Highway. Their phone number is 913-426-6919. So if you need a bid on a new roof, siding, windows, just about anything. I know we do some concrete work. We can do sheetrock remodels, historical renovations. We do both um, residential and commercial. So if, if you have a need for any of those things, feel free to stop in their office at 1400 Skyway or give us a call. Well, Lucas, I want to thank you for being here today and I want to welcome you to the show. I, I know that our audience would love to learn a little about you. I got to talk to you before we actually got on air today, and you told me a little about yourself. You're from the Atchison area, is that right? That is correct. I am, I am from Atchison originally, um, left while I went to college at Pittsburgh State, uh, returned to the community and lived here for approximately seven years while I taught at Pleasant Ridge High School at Easton. Um, taught there for 12 years in total um, and have returned back to Atchison now again and, te and working here at Highland Community College Technical Center, um, working with our certificate and AAS programs. And they have quite a few programs. Tell us about those programs. Yes, absolutely. We have 13 different programs. Um, we have administrative assistance programs, automotive technology, auto collision technology, uh, computer support, uh, construction technology, diesel technology, which is probably one of the best diesel technology programs in the nation. I would put us yeah. up against anybody. Um, we've had national champions, and we've had students uh, compete in the international competition for Skills USA, placing fifth overall in the world. So uh, yeah. very, very proud of that program. That is very exciting. My husband is um, an over-the-road truck driver, and one of the things he said is when he gets to the point that he can no longer drive, that's a program that he wants to investigate. So that's pretty interesting. It is, it is an awesome program. Um, we also have early childhood development, um, electrical technology, engineering graphics, graphics and technologies, um, HVAC and plumbing, LPN to RN nursing, uh, we have LPN nursing, uh, medical office assistant, and uh, welding technology. So we have a full gamut of career possibilities here uh, in our certificate and AAS programs. And where is the main campus? Where is Highlands main, main uh, community college campus? The, the main campus is located in Highland, Kansas, uh, approximately 35 minutes north of Atchison, just straight north. Um, the main campus has uh, roughly uh, roughly 500 students that live on campus. Um, and then we have a nine county service area in Northeast Kansas where we have um, six locations that we offer satellite locations, including the, the technical center here in Atchison, which is um, the second largest campus. Um, that's if you exclude our online campus uh, that has become very, very popular. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. They do an awful lot. And I think it's wonderful when these colleges reach out to some of these smaller communities that, you know, that way sometimes students just can't go off to school. Maybe they have ties in their community or jobs or, or something and they just can't go somewhere else. And so it's great that they have those online opportunities and these satellite opportunities as well. So you've done all kinds of stuff though. You, you taught for a while and now you're 
You're the director there. What does your job consist of? My job here with Highland consists of curriculum development, um, making sure that we're aligned with the KBOR standards that are put out, um, making sure that we, we are meeting our accreditation needs. I also work with students, um, just making sure that they're in the program that they need to be, making sure that we have funding available. So I work with our, our um, Carl Perkins grant um, and keep it up to date and work with the teachers and make sure they have everything they need to, to offer great programs. How many instructors are at this site? We have about 19 instructors here in the Atchison, uh, full-time instructors here in Atchison. And then we have, uh, we, we use anywhere from probably seven to 15 adjunct instructors as well for our general education classes. And about how many students do you have enrolled at any given time? Right now in the technical center we have just a little under 300 students um, that are in technical education and then we service another 70 students roughly um, throughout the year in general education regional courses. Wow. So, so for, for a small campus, I mean, you're really doing an awful lot there. Yeah, many of our rooms are very full, which is a good problem to have. It is a good um, problem. We always have room for a few more, though, so we always welcome anybody that would like to come in and, and meet with our student services um, representatives and, and, you know, learn about what, what they can truly get working with Highland. Wow, that's pretty awesome. What's your favorite part about your job? I just want to know. Um, being a tech type of person, uh, I mean, I, I, I taught wood shop for 12 years. Um, I'm a very hands-on type learner. Probably my favorite part of my job is getting to go down into our live shops and actually see the students working, um, spend some time with them, talk with them about what they're working on, what they're learning, how it ties back, and, and also working with them about with just career planning. You know, how does this this project you're currently working on in the live shop, how is, how is that going to be connected to the job you're going to get when you leave? Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So do they help with job placement at all? We do assist our students with, um, with job placement. Uh, we have an online um, job posting board uh, at Highland Community College um, is website. Um, so we allow anyone to, to send us job information and openings that they have and we post them there. We also post them physically here at our location on our, on our job bulletin board. Um, and we also bring in quite a few employers will come here and do interviews. Um, they'll, they'll come spend an afternoon or a day with us um, and interview the, the students that are getting ready to graduate. That's pretty exciting for me personally. I'll tell you why. Because aside from all of the other things that I do, I'm a public speaker, author, you know, I host this show. Aside from that, I also manage a construction company. So I was really excited when, um, you know, I knew that that opportunity to tap into some of the resources that Highland offered this community existed. I was just like, oh, yes, that's great, because sometimes it's difficult to find the right people to hire. And so knowing that there are, you know, these people coming out of there that have that background is going to be phenomenal for, for me. I'm very excited about it. So on that note, I know that, let's see, is it Friday the 10th? There's something very special happening there on that campus, and um, it has a huge impact on this community. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I would love to. Friday, um, March the 10th, which will be this Friday, uh, we are having a, we're hosting a, a little short um, luncheon and survey meeting where we would like to survey business leaders and educational leaders in this community um, and, a, and a few surrounding communities to just find out how we can best serve the communities that we're in here in Atchison and Jefferson County um, are the focus for this meeting. Um, we're just really trying to find out what are the true needs of our communities and how can the Technical Center and Highland Community College help fill the openings that are there. I think that is so incredibly wonderful. A, a lot of times you see campuses become sort of this, um, 
they're so autonomous, they're so on their own, and they don't necessarily get involved with the needs of the community, other than maybe doing, you know, some networking and that sort of thing. But the fact that you're asking this community to say, how can we serve you? How can we better prepare our students to live and work in this community? What do you want from us? I, I think that is just incredible. And I think also, Lucas, I know just enough about you to understand that I think you are very community minded. In fact, you and I met at a, a local community function. We met at Rotary. Is that right? Is that where we met? That, that is correct. We, we met at the Atchison Rotary um, meeting last Thursday. And um, being a part of Rotary and, and being putting service above self um, is something that I do really believe in and, and is, it is what Rotary is all about, serving our community. Um, and it, it's important to me to give back to the community. I know this community has given me many, many opportunities. Um, and I want to make sure that, that you know, as a, as a member of the community, I'm giving back to hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, help other people out. And then, you know, when we survey the community, um, at our meeting Friday, we just truly, we have to reach out to those people because if we're doing no justice to our students, if we are not preparing them for jobs that are actually available. So that's, that's really true. I think, you know, through time, certain jobs become obsolete. That's just the nature of the world that we live in. And so to make sure that those exist for those students that are coming out is pretty important. Where, where is this meeting going to be held on the campus? It's going to be held at 1501 West Riley at the Technical Center in Building B, which B. is our administrative building, B as in boy. Okay. Yep. Um, and we, we will have that meeting at 11 o'clock. Um, we should be done by 1230. So. so just a real brief luncheon, just get some input and let people get back to work after that. Absolutely. We just yeah. want people to be able to come, share, share with us what they would like to see, um, give us an opportunity to also show what we are doing here. Um, we want to be an open campus. We'd love people to come tour our campus. Uh, just see all the great things that are happening here at the Technical Center because there are a, a lot of great things happening here. I'm real curious about something, Lucas. What is the average age of your student on campus there? I know it runs the gamut. Sometimes you get students straight out of high school, and then you have people later in life that say, I need a change or I want to do something different for one reason or another. But on average, what would you say? What's the atmosphere like? What's the average age? Um, well, we actually we start with students when they're juniors in high school because of Senate Bill 155. High school students are able to come to Highland Community College Technical Center for free. It costs yeah. them absolutely nothing. Um, and if they if they choose a one year program, they could all receive their their uh, technical certificate. Um, actually at the same time they're receiving their high school diploma, um, which is pretty exciting. Or they can get a year ahead um, if they're in a two-year program uh, and they'll have one year done prior to starting. Um, we have about, we're about 40% right now of our students are high school students, juniors or seniors. Um, but I would say our average age is in the early 20s. Um, many times, uh, we get the more traditional age students that have either started college somewhere else and returned or have went to the workforce after high school and have decided that if they want to truly be uh, gainfully employed, they need to have a skill set of some sort. Um, and so we helped, we helped build those, those tools for them. And then we also do get some more non-traditional students. Um, uh, we have, we have several students that are, in their late 40s and early 50s um, that have either lost jobs or have decided that they just like a, a career change and they're they're here to retool themselves to be successful. I think that it is incredible that those high school students have the opportunity to to get a jump start in life. I know my own daughters um, they were able to take some community college courses while they were in high school but it certainly wasn't free we had to pay for that. So what is the criteria, if any, for them to be able to get into that? Um, they just have to attend one of the high schools in our service area and have an interest in um, either the technical programs that are at Senate Bill 155 approved uh, programs, or there are there's a, a quite an extensive list of classes, general education classes that are also included um, 
in the Senate Bill 155 coverage. Okay, and what's, what I think is really interesting is, aside from getting a certificate, these students, I'm gonna show the website here, these students can also earn their associate's degree. Am I right about that? You are correct. We offer general education classes, daytime and evening. We work with our students here to, uh, we offer some classes even over their lunch breaks from their technical programs um, so that they can, they can even, you know, fit in just a little bit more in their day. And uh, we, we offer those associate degrees um, so that students are also not only have the technical knowledge that they need to be successful in their future jobs, but also uh, have an associate's degree so that they're more likely and more prepared for a promotion. Well, we're trying to show the website here. Do you see that? Yes. And so we, I've pulled up this page here, and they can, they can go to um, highlandcc.edu, and they can check out everything they need to know about Highland Community College. And then there's a place there that talks about some of the technical courses that are offered. And along with that, they can get that associate. And so let's, let's click on this and show again some of those opportunities that they have. So this is a list. Now, is this all inclusive, or are there more? Is there anything missing from this list here, Lucas? No, this includes all of our technical certificate programs. There's okay. 13. Um, and, you know, all and that 13 diesel, of those That diesel are, technology is one that, that you were talking about earlier. That's sort of the, that's a good one, right? I'm not, that they're, not that they're not all good, but that one you've done very, very well with here. Yes, our diesel technology program is second to none, as well as our practical nursing program. Um, uh, I... Two years ago, we were the only school in the state of Kansas to have a 100% pass rate on the NCLEX um, test, so wow. we're pretty proud of that, and we've been above 95% the last two years, so that's great statistics for a, a very difficult test for licensure. Absolutely. Well, that speaks well of your instructors there at that location. That is just absolutely amazing, and they must enjoy being there, too. I think they do. <laughs> they, they, they really care about their students. That's a passion for, for students and, and making sure that they are making them as prepared as possible to be successful. Well, I'm going to remind everybody of that website. It's highlandcc.edu, and you can get on there. And there's, I, there was so much information, Lucas, when I got on that website. I was just very, very impressed. That's pretty exciting. I don't know, when do you find time to sleep? You do so much out there, and you told me earlier that you have two young children at home, so I know you're busy, busy, busy. Yeah, we, uh, sleep is optional sometimes. <laughs> um, we, I, uh, I enjoy what I do, and I think that, that really helps. Um, if, if I didn't enjoy what I was doing, it, I'm sure it would really wear me down, but I work with a, with a wonderful group of people, um, the, the upper administration at Highland is very easy to work for, uh, and, and we have the opportunity here to be extremely successful, and it's very nice to see the great, the great fruits that, that we're turning out in, in our students and how successful they're being when they gain employment. Um, and so it, 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 it's a good time, and I do still find plenty of time to spend with my two lovely daughters because they're the reason I do come to work. Uh, so they keep you motivated huh <laughs> absolutely absolutely and they're young they're what two and six yeah just two and six years old and uh very busy <laughs> at that age yep yeah they will just keep you going and going so well are there any special activities coming up besides this community meeting happening on march 10th are there any other activities happening on that campus that you would love for us to know about Absolutely. Today, actually, uh, uh, we are opening summer and fall enrollment for our, for our general education classes. So if you would visit our website or stop by the office and check out the, the great offerings that we're going to have for this summer and this fall semester. Um, we also have on the 14th is our Tech Center Open House Day. So if you would like to stop by the Technical Center, uh, have a tour, see what we're all about please take advantage of that open house day. Um, it, it's, it's a good time to come and, and, and see what we have here. Um, and then actually on April the 8th, we have a car show on the mall in Natchison. And yeah, I love car shows. <laughs> it, it was a, it, 
it's a fundraiser for our Skills USA group and to help pay for their their um, competition fees. And then last year we did it on the mall for the very first time and it was tremendous. Um, it's a beautiful setting on our open mall in Atchison. Um, and you line beautiful cars up and down that mall with the with the great businesses we have there on the mall. And everybody had a, had a wonderful day last year. So I'm looking really forward to that on the 8th of April. And that's going to be April 8th. That's pretty exciting. For people who don't live in Atchison or are not familiar with Atchison, can you explain that mall setting a little bit? Yeah, it's, um, it's almost like you're a, a strip mall, but it's, um, it's open in the center and there's a nice courtyard area between, um, between the businesses, very open air, beautiful landscaping. Um, our, our community has taken a lot of pride in, um, in our mall. It's very unique. You don't see malls like this, especially anymore. Um, and it, it's a great piece of the Atchison history and it's a wonderful place to, to, to have events. And, and right near the river. And that's right my favorite part, river. that beautiful Missouri River that we sit on. Isn't that phenomenal? It is. It is beautiful. And it's just a great opportunity. Um, there's lots of businesses. Not only can you enjoy the car show, but you can, you can spend some time with our local vendors um, and, and show your support to them. And there's also many restaurants just off the mall that you can take advantage of. So it, it, it makes for a very nice day. That's, that's good that your students have a chance to connect in the community as well. That's pretty exciting. Well, I appreciate you being here today, Lucas. Thank you so much. And you've shared a lot of information. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm going to be there Friday for this community meeting, and I can't wait to be there. That will actually be my first experience on the campus, unless I run down there before then. So I'm really anxious to check it out and see what's going on there. We look forward to your visit, and we look forward to everybody coming Friday. Yes, absolutely. Well, once again, Lucas, thank you so much for being here. I want to remind our viewers that you've been watching the Get Clear show. And today we were speaking with Lewis. Um, I'm always going to say this wrong, Lewis. I, I, wouldn't put a, I want to put an extra letter in your name, and I know it's not there. I'm sure it happens a lot, but it's Hunzinger. Is that right? Lucas, Lucas Hunzinger, Hunzinger, yes. Yeah. I want to put an extra N in there, and I know it doesn't exist. Anyway, we've been talking to you today about Highland Community College and the um, – the technical campus in Atchison, Kansas, and I appreciate you sharing all of that information with us, Lucas. Thank you to our audience for watching, and as always, have a great day.